whereas a barometer is a device used to measure the absolute pressure, absolute atmospheric pressure, a manometer is a similar but different device in which one um, can compare the pressure of a gas within some sort of a vessel or apparatus to the atmospheric pressure and make a pressure measurement um, on the gas. For example, uh, in this diagram it says uh, apparatus and let's just assume that this apparatus is a tank containing some gas. Um, in this situation, uh, this U-tube is the actual manometer and you put uh, mercury inside the U-tube and uh, if the pressure of the gas inside the apparatus is the same as the atmospheric pressure, then you would expect that the level of the mercury would be the same on both sides of the U-tube because the pressure, the force, would be the same. It would be equalized. But in this case, what we see is that the level of the mercury is not equalized. On the apparatus side of the U-tube, the uh, mercury level is higher than on the atmospheric side of the U-tube. And so what that tells us then is that the pressure exerted by the atmosphere is greater than the pressure exerted by the gas inside the device. And you can actually determine the uh, pressure of the gas based on the difference between the barometric pressure measured in millimeters of mercury and the height um, measured in the same unit. In this picture, um, imagine an apparatus containing a gas connected to this side of the U-tube and sealed here against that uh, apparatus. In this uh, case, this uh, should be open to the atmosphere as well. Um, the pressure from the atmosphere must be less than the pressure exerted by the apparatus because the level of the mercury is lower um, on the apparatus side. So you can determine the um, pressure of the gas by comparing the, the to the uh, height difference uh, with the uh, pressure from the atmosphere that would be reported in uh, some measurements such as millimeters of mercury. Um, so it's going to be the pressure of the gas is going to be less the height difference between the atmosphere and the uh, gas side of the U-tube. And uh, on this case, the pressure of the gas is going to be equal to the atmospheric pressure plus the height difference between the um, height of the side, atmosphere side, and the height on the um, pressure, excuse me, gas side. This is a, uh, a way to measure the gas pressure um, of some gas uh, relative to the atmospheric pressure. So an example of this type of a measurement would be what is the pressure in a system when the mercury level in the system side of the column of an open tube mercury manometer is 25 millimeters lower than the mercury level in the atmosphere side of a column and the atmospheric pressure was measured from a barometer to be 760 millimeters of mercury. Well this example where it says it's 25 millimeters lower on the apparatus side or the system side would be a situation like this where the level is lower. That means that the pressure of the gas is greater than the atmospheric pressure so we would use this simple little equation to calculate the pressure of this particular uh, system, which is a gas, would equal the atmospheric pressure, which is 760 millimeters of mercury, plus the uh, difference in height, which in this case is 25 millimeters of mercury. Um, so the pressure of the gas then, in this case, is equal to 785 millimeters of mercury, which is the same as 785 torr.